It's time for molecular transmutation. Triceratops! Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the true blue favorites from across Ranger history. Your next move could be your last. So I'd be careful what you do. Taking into account their character growth, arsenal, and overall impact on the series. Number 20, Max Cooper, Power Rangers Wild Force. You still got my bottle. Hey, you're the kid from last night. Don't call me a kid. I'm the Surging Shark. He may be the Blue Shark Ranger, but Max isn't an apex predator, and that's a compliment. For the most part, the Wild Force Rangers view him as the good-spirited little brother of the team. Even though Max wants to be taken more seriously, his youthful optimism brings an irreplaceable heart to each and every mission he's a part of, especially the ones that test his earnest friendship with Danny. Rest assured, though, Max can still bring the bite when things get tough. By approaching each obstacle with the same positive outlook, Max eventually proved to himself and his team that he's worthy of the Morpher. All right, here goes. Spear of Pardolis, we ask you to please help us in our time of need. Number 19, Ravi Shaw. Power Rangers Beast Morphers. There's being a rule follower, then there's being a suck up, and then there's Ravi Shaw. But he has a very good reason for being a stick in the mud. His mom runs the entire grid battle force operation. As a result, Ravi takes his position extremely seriously. Some might say too seriously. How'd you get into our base? I'm the master key! Guys, a Robotron has breached security on parking level one. Thankfully, Robbie spends Beast Morphers slowly accepting that there's more to life than wearing spandex and blasting bad guys. Then after a long and satisfying character arc, he finally confronts his mom in one of the season's most heartfelt moments. You always say art is a waste of time. I was afraid that you never approve of me sketching and painting, so I lied about it. Ironically, Robbie's choice to be more than just a ranger is exactly what makes him a great one. Number 18. Dax Lowe, Power Rangers Operation Overdrive. Hey, nice! You gotta love being blue! <laughs> Live Vortex! Go to be a good stuntman, you need to work well with others, face your fears, and have a lot of natural athletic ability. Considering all that, it's no surprise that Dax's time in the movie business made him a perfect candidate for ranger duty. While he can definitely be a bit of a show-off, his immature hijinks gave him the chance to learn and grow into a more serious person. The final episode proves as much. After spending all season as a wannabe actor, Dax realizes he'd rather direct instead. His decision to stay behind the camera is the perfect end to a character that already stole the show. I realized that the acting thing was something that I wanted just for me. This Power Ranger thing, something I do for a lot more people. Number 17, Preston Tien, Power Rangers Ninja Steel and Power Rangers Super Ninja Steel. Time for a little magic. Dragon's Ire, full of fire. Hey, how'd you like my magic, turtle face? The amazing Presto might actually be the most spellbinding ranger in history at least when it comes to amateur illusions. But despite his enchanting hobbies, Preston can do a whole lot more than pull rabbits out of hats. He's also quick on his feet, extremely compassionate, and most of all, he isn't afraid to stand up for what he believes in, even if he has to go through his own father to do it. Still, deep down, Preston is just a sensitive soul who wants to entertain people, and given how much his character brought to Ninja Steel, it's safe to say he accomplished that. And then some. I think I may have another trick up my sleeve. Let's try a dragon formation. Combine! Number 16, Ali Akata, Power Ranger Dino Fury, and Power Rangers Cosmic Fury. Booski, ready! Elasto Dash! Ah, ah. He may be a top tier ranger in a fight, but Ali's biggest strength isn't his Dino Fury key, it's his brain. Unfortunately, that's also his biggest weakness. Ollie thinks he knows everything, so when monsters, aliens, and dinosaurs start popping up everywhere, it takes him a while to adjust. But his time as a condescending skeptic makes the journey incredibly worthwhile. His relationship with the mystery-loving Amelia is so gratifying because it's something Ollie would have never done in the first episode. He grew into a ranger everyone could count on, and at this point, it's clear that no one could have channeled the Tricera Fury quite like Ali Akana. Ready to show him who rules this roost? He's about to be all out of cluck. Number 15, Chad Lee, Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue. Chad! Leave them alone! This guy wasn't just chosen to be a ranger, he was recruited. And we can see why. The former lifeguard knows a thing or two about sacrifice, and he uses that motivation to be the very best blue ranger he can. 
Did we mention Chad was also trained by a wise martial artist? Because he was, and it paves off with some of the coolest unmorphed fights the series has ever seen. He's just as impressive in uniform too. In fact, Chad's the very first full-time Blue Ranger to get their own battleizer like upgrade. Clearly, Chad was the right choice for Lightspeed Blue, even if he does get distracted by the occasional mermaid. You came back. I wanted to say that I'm sorry. Number 14, Madison Rocca. Power Rangers Mystic Force. Fluid is the sea, Blue Mystic Ranger. Magic or not, even Rangers worry that they won't fit in. As such, Madison spends most of the early episodes hiding behind her camera lens, scared that people won't like the real her. Thankfully, Madison's mystical time as a Ranger gradually convinces her that she's a worthy member of the team and her friend group. She lives up to that in the season finale, and it couldn't have come a moment sooner. When it seems like all hope is lost, it's Madison who stands her ground and rallies everyone for one last stand. You have held us together through all of this. You will not give up. Listen to me. Giving up is not an option for you. We are a team, and you are this team's leader. We go on no matter what. From a reserved wallflower to the emotional core of the team, there's no denying Madison Roca wears blue with pride. Number 13, Noah Carver. Power Rangers Megaforce and Power Rangers Super Megaforce. You can do this. Go, go, Megaforce! Noah is the textbook definition of a ranger who works smarter, not harder. That shouldn't be too surprising considering he was chosen for duty because of his boundless quest for knowledge. His strategic mind is an invaluable asset to the Megaforce Rangers, and he proves as much by constantly upgrading their tech. He even unlocked a new Zord for them, too. Despite that, Noah's also prone to bouts of serious self-doubt, but he always bounces back with a new invention or plan, usually a funny quip too. Still, the best part of Noah's genius is that he's always improving himself right alongside his gear, not that we'd expect anything less from the team's resident brainiac. It's not about muscles, it's about believing in yourself. If you believe in yourself, you can do anything. Number 12, Kevin. Power Rangers Samurai and Power Rangers Super Samurai. Spin Sword! Dragon Splash! If anyone's ever needed a bath, it's this jerk! Being a ranger is a full-time job, so in order to protect the world from Master Xandrid, Kevin had to abandon his lifelong dream of becoming an Olympic swimmer. He doesn't regret picking up the Morpher, but he can't help wondering what his life would look like if he'd chosen differently. Seeing Kevin grapple with his decision is easily one of the most impactful storylines in Samurai. That's not to say Kevin's defined by grief, though. On the contrary, he finds a new purpose as the scene-stealing Blue Samurai Ranger. But knowing everything he sacrificed to be there elevates Kevin from a good character into a great one. This is what all the hard work all those years has been for. I won't go back without the Swordfish Sword. Number 11, Lucas Kendall, Power Rangers Time Force. Those four. Race cards are. What? All things considered, Lucas is a pretty simple guy. He likes his hair, he likes girls, and he likes fast cars. He's certainly one of the more laid-back rangers, but don't forget, he's still a Time Force operative. The second things go south, Lucas is there and ready to blast some monsters into putty. Doubly so if you mess with his friends, or his cars. Somehow, Lucas knows how to have fun without appearing careless, and that breezy personality is practically infectious. While his need for speed has cost him a few tickets, and even a stint in traffic school, it sure made Lucas a fun ranger to watch. You're the best driver I've ever seen. In fact, I came here to ask you to give me a lesson. Number 10, Theo Martin, Power Rangers Jungle Fury. Come on. <sighs> Is this the best you can do? The perfectionist with the stealth of a jaguar, Theo was a senior student at the Pai Shuok Academy, but was chosen to train under RJ as the Blue Jungle Fury Ranger. He's a bit uptight and an overachiever, but his martial arts skills show that he can handle anything, except failure. I was just doing a little meditation. It helps the mind to stay focused and on task. He's not as adventurous as his twin brother, but he wants to be the best at everything he does, and failure can damage his ego. However, with little training and a lot of confidence and focus, Theo really can achieve anything, whether it's becoming a Pai Shuk master or finally asking Lily, the Yellow Ranger, on a date. Well, what would you say if sometime we turn that appointment into a date? Number nine, Kai Chen, Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. It's a long story, but my friends flew through a dimensional portal to save another world. Kai is a helmsman for the space colony Terra Venture and one of the chosen wielders of the Quasar Sabers and later on the protector of the galaxy book. 
Along with his ranger and military duties, he's also a great cook. Oh, Kai! When he can keep focus anyway. He's serious and works by the book, which greatly contrasts Leo's brash nature, but both parties greatly respect each other. Kai mostly likes to follow regulations, but if something doesn't seem right, and the safety of his friends or the colony is at stake, Kai can always rely on his instincts to save the day, even if it means bending the rules. Open the door! This is sorry, sir. Will be sorry. Number 8. Rocky De Santos, Power Rangers Zeo. It's Morphin Time! We all remember Rocky as one of the new friends from Stone Canyon who takes Jason's place as the Red Muddy Morphin Ranger. However, after completing the quest for his Zeo Subcrystal, he is granted the powers of Zeo Ranger 3. Like his previous Ranger days, Rocky is enthusiastic and willing to challenge himself, and if there's any Ranger you can trust, it's him. With powerhouses on board like Tommy and Jason, the one he originally replaced, Rocky might feel less important as a ranger. See, now I get to search the countryside for the guy who's replacing me. Nice. But he is no less essential to the team. Unfortunately, his blue days can't last forever, as a martial arts injury forces him to retire, paving the way for a younger ranger. <laughs> Number 7, Ethan James, Power Rangers Dino Thunder. Dino Thunder! Ethan! Sometimes the nerdy ones have the thickest skin, especially if they have protective skin abilities. Similar to Mighty Morphin's Billy, Ethan is the nerdy one of the team with a blue Triceratops Zord. He's your typical video game geek and an expert hacker, though he sometimes gets too wrapped up in his gaming. The first gamer to conquer the entire magical world and crack the secret code wins the right to test the next game in the series. He's also more than once had impeccable timing when something unexpected happens. This is all totally fascinating, but how is it helping us find Kira? I mean, she's not just gonna fall out of the sky and land right in front of us. Huh? Despite his geeky interests, Ethan is no pushover. He is more than ready to stand up for himself against anything that wants to mess with him. Whether it's jerks or mesagogs monsters, victory shall be his forevermore. Huh? Can you tell us exactly what's happening here? Maybe huh? later. What? Number six, Tori Hansen. Power Rangers Ninja Storm. Ninja Storm! Ranger Form! Ha! Though the Blue Ranger has mostly been a male-dominated role, Ninja Storm saw fit to cast someone more fluid and graceful. Tori is an ace surfer and one of the three Misfit Wind Ninja students destined to become Power Rangers. Her passion for aquatic sports heightens her connection to water, enabling her to use it as a second weapon. I summon Blue Ninja Powers of the Rising Waters! While she's not above making mistakes, Tori is the sensible one of the team, preferring to solve conflicts with words before violence. Isn't that the alien over there? <laughs> she also has a mutual yet unexplored attraction towards Blake, the Navy Ranger. In the end, Tori becomes an instructor at the Wind Ninja Academy, but that's not the last we see of her. Hey! Look out! <laughs> Let the games begin! Number 5, Flynn McAllister. Power Rangers RPM. RPM! Get in gear! Before the vengeance attack, Flynn had dreams of helping people like his comic book superheroes. Unfortunately, despite his best William Wallace impersonation, his efforts weren't always appreciated. However, when the Earth started falling apart, Flynn drove a busload of citizens to the safety of Corrin City and was selected to become Ranger Blue. Are we going to die? Not today! Outside of his ranger duties, Flynn is also a skilled mechanic and knows his way around a smoothie. Unfortunately, there are those who still doubt his abilities, brushing him off as just a simple mechanic. A simple mechanic? Is that what you think? A simple mechanic? However, there's nothing simple about this Scottish mechanic, as he proves time and time again that he's a true hero and a mechanical master. Aye, let's do this thing! Huh? Number 4, Theodore J. T.J. Jarvis Johnson, Power Rangers in Space. Wow, this Astro Axe is amazing! <laughs> Since he was young, TJ wanted to be a Power Ranger, and he got his wish as he filled Tommy's space as the Red Turbo Ranger. However, when he leads the Turbo Rangers into space in search of Zordon, he meets Andros and becomes the Blue Space Ranger and second in command of the team. Some will consider going from red to blue a step down, but not in TJ's case. Although he's not a full-time leader anymore, he's still ready to take charge when Andros can't, including brainstorming different strategies for fighting evil. Five blue Power Rangers and just one blue Psycho Ranger. Now what are you gonna do? Being a Ranger is risky business, but TJ is more than willing to take a risk, even if it means getting seriously injured. <laughs> Number 3, Coda, Power Rangers Dino Charge and Power Rangers Dino Supercharge. It's 
Morphing time! Here is a ranger literally ahead of his time. 100,000 years ago, a caveman named Koda bonded with the blue Energem while protecting his younger brother. Fast forward to the present, he was found frozen by Kendall Morgan and recruited as the blue Dino Charge Ranger. Koda's a Neanderthalic fish out of water, eating with his hands, preferring to go shoeless, and fearing modern technology. In the heat of battle, Koda can rely on his instincts and caveman strength above any weapon. The only thing bigger than his strength or his appetite is his heart. The other rangers are like family to Koda, and even if something scares him, he won't stop fighting alongside them or for them until evil is extinct. You are not just friend, you are family. Number two, Billy Cranston, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. See, I've made a significant breakthrough regarding the uh, cross. Billy, heads issues. up! <laughs> <laughs> He's the OG Blue Ranger and an inspiration to brainiacs everywhere. In the beginning, Billy was your stereotypical nerd, heavy with the geek talk, but even heavier on the technical smarts. He's created a communication device using microwaves. Affirmative. See, we now have connection to Zordon and Alpha in the command center. Unfortunately, when he wasn't morphed, Billy wasn't the team's strongest fighter and couldn't always stand up for himself. However, as the series progressed, so did Billy's confidence and fighting prowess, making him a force to reckon with. Billy's also the only ranger of the original five to remain in duty through all three seasons, eventually trading in his morpher to become a technical advisor in Zeo. Sadly, some behind-the-scenes harassment caused his actor to walk off set, writing Billy off the show with one last tribute. See ya, man. Take care, right, Billy. Take care, touch, everybody. Bye. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Skylar Sky Tate, Power Rangers SPD. Blue? I'm blue? I'm supposed to be the Red Ranger! Taking the actual number one spot is the man in blue whose dreams are in the red. Sky was one of the top members of SPD's B Squad who could project force fields. He hoped to follow in his late father's footsteps as a Red Ranger. If I was to appoint Sid as Red Ranger, would you follow her into battle? <laughs> Sir, she's a girl. Unfortunately, his arrogance earned him a spot as the Blue Ranger, while former street thief Jack gets the coveted red spot. Though bitter about the arrangement, Sky eventually learns to respect Jack and accept his place as second in command, until the finale where he finally earns his color promotion. Red or blue, Sky ultimately proves that it's not the color that makes a great ranger, it's what you do with the power. If I was to appoint Sid as Red Ranger, would you follow her into battle? Sir, I'd follow anyone into battle you felt worthy of wearing the color red. Congratulations, Sky. You are the new Red Ranger. Which Blue Ranger should have made the leap to Red? Let us know in the comments below. I'm Billy. Can't you tell? No, he's the fake. I'm the real one. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.